All right, everybody. Now onto part two of my of my ranking bass collection. When we last looked off, sh off I showed you the two thousand one VHS of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and the Island of Misfit Toys. Boys, I showed you all the beaches. Now we're moving on to the DVDs, and then I got to show the two box sets, the two Blu-rays, and one video game. So we'll start with the DVDs first, and that and first DVD I'm going to show is the two thousand four DVD of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and I also call this the, even though it's not listing this, I call this the 40th anniversary edition because when this DVD came out, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer would be turning 40 years old because we know uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer first aired back on December 6th of 1964. Of course, this DVD was released in, I believe, August or September of, nine, of 2004, which I found kind of weird why they released it in August or September, even though this was nowhere near the Christmas season. But hey, that's okay. And this DVD has the version of the film I grew up with, because the version of the film I grew up with was the original 1964 broadcast version, but with the ending from the 1965 version, the one that has the song Were a Couple of Misfits, and that version of the film is used on this DVD. Fame and Fortune is on this DVD, except it's a, it's a bonus feature, not in, into the movie, though. Anyway, here's Spine. The back, it says, The World's Most Famous Reindeer. I'm gonna open this up. Yep, we got this Destiny Chat. Destiny's Child CD in there. That was an exclusive. And here's this, which you can see Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Sam the Snowman, Hermie the Elf, the Abominable Snow Monster, and some of the Island of Misfit Toys. But still, there you go with this DVD of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, now on to... This is the 2005 DVD of Frosty the Snowman. Includes the holiday fever... Favorite Frosty Returns. Every DVD release of Frosty the Snowman features Frosty Returns, which I do not know why Frosty Returns is never on its own on DVD. They just include it with Frosty the Snowman. I don't know why, but my mom and I got this at Target in Warwick, Rhode Island back in uh, December of 2006. We got it with one other DVD of Frosty, which I'll show next. Anyways, you can see here's the spine. The back says, Look at Frosty Go. I'll bring this DVD up. No one search, but here's the disc, which you can see Frosty. Frosty is a snowman where he's not alive. Karen and all the other children. Still, this DVD of Frosty the Snowman, Frosty Returns, is very good indeed. All right, and the last DVD I'm going to show, this is... is uh, this is not a sequel to Frosty, though. This is not a Rankin-Bass special. It's a, it's a sequel to Frosty. And that is... The Legend of Frosty the Snowman. This... So it's Frosty's all new magical movie, and it's told and sung by Burnt Reynolds. Well, he plays a. There's a character in the movie named Tommy. We this character's name is Tommy, and uh, Burnt Reynolds. We find out, out at the end of the special, he's the grown up version of, of Tommy, and he narrates the film. Anyway, uh, th I've seen. I got the. My mom and I got this at Target and Warwick Island the same day. It's got the DVD of Frosty the Snowman and Frosty Returns, and this sequel's not bad. It's a pretty good sequel. This film's not is actually not bad, and Frosty is actually voiced by the actor who voices Patrick Starr on SpongeBob SquarePants. So when Frosty talks in this movie, he sounds exactly like Patrick because he's voiced by uh, I forgot what the actor's name was. He voices he usually voices Patrick Starr on SpongeBob SquarePants, and he voices Frosty in this film. This film was made by Sony Wonders, I think. It was released in in October of two thousand five. And this film gets shown on television every year on Cartoon Network. Anyway, here's Spine. The back says, based on the original television Christmas classic, classic Frosty the Snowman. Can open this DVD up. No inserts, but here's the disc, which you can see Frosty, Tommy, Sarah, and Walter. So The Legend of Frosty the Snowman, it's not a bad, it's not a bad film. I, st I actually enjoyed it. So yeah, there you go on that. Alright, now on to the box sets. i got two box sets. This first one is... The 2007 limited keepsake edition of the original Christmas classic collection. So, seven holiday favorites. As you know, I got this for Christmas last year. I was trying to get this back in 2012, but I bought a box set, which I'll show next. That was the wrong box set, but this is the right box set I was trying to get. I know Eli Grande and John Man 48 have this box set. Anyway, here's Spine. That's the back. It says digitally remastered and seven day holiday favorites all in one set. And this has the specials Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus has come to town, The Little Drummer Boy, Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, Cricket on the Hearth, and Frosty Returns. I've seen uh, Cricket on the Hearth was Rankin Bass's second Christmas special as Cricket on the Hearth was released in 1967. Uh, of course, ours. Uh, what was it? 
And Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol was not a Rankin Bass special. It was just included on this box set for some reason. Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, I've never seen. I've seen Cricket on the Hearth and all the other specials on this box set, but I have not seen Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol. I don't know if I'll ever see Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, but that's the only uh, special on this on this box that I have not seen. Anyway, I'll show you the disc. Here's this disc, which has Frosty the Snowman and Frosty Returns. I and mean, when you take the disc out, there's artwork. You can see Frosty and all the other children from Frosty the Snowman. And, uh, Charlie in the Box and the Two Owls from Rudolph. Here's this holiday CD, E. Eve, which has the songs Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, Holly Jolly Christmas, Silver and Gold, Let It Snow, Winter Wonderland, and Merry Christmas, Baby. I know you can also see me in the camera recording here, but hey, that's okay. When you take the disc out, you got the doll, doll from Rudolph and uh, Top of the Penguin from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Anyway. Anyway. Now we'll move on to this. You can see right here, you can see Hermie the Elf and Yukon from Cornelius from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And you're going to see Aaron, uh, the Lamb, uh, the Donkey, and the uh, uh, Camel from uh, the Little Drummer Boy. Anyway, here's this disc which has Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Oh, sorry. This disc has Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Cricket on the Hearth. Let me take the disc out. You can see uh, the two bunnies, Rudolph Clary's in a and a female elf, elf from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay. Finally, here's this disc. Which, here's this disc, which has Santa Claus has come to town, Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, and the Little Drummer Boy. Boy, when you take the disc out, you can see Chris Kringle and the Winter Warlock from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. You can also see. Uh, uh, the two raccoons, I think that's either a squirrel or a chipmunk, and also the abominable snow monster from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Ah, and here's this, you can see Cricket, Mr. Magoo and that little boy, uh, Cricket from Cricket on the Hearth, and Mr. Magoo and that little boy, I don't know what his name is, is from Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, because I haven't seen Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol. And all the other reindeer, and Santa's sleigh, as well as a male elf from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So yeah, there you go with this box set. Now, this box set is basically a reissue. It's from 2000. This is the 2010 one. I got. I, I accidentally. I, I accidentally bought this one because I got this at the FYE store. I got this one at the FYE store inside the South Kingstown Mall back in December of 2012. I got uh, two days after Christmas. As so I meant to get the other box set, but I accidentally realized I bought this box set instead of the other one. A month later, I realized that the two box sets. So you have different covers. I didn't realize that. But anyway, I know Mr. Biggest Disney fan, K. Joshua, has the Blu-ray of this. I think it. I think he has the Blu-ray. I'm not going to bother getting the Blu-ray of this, though. Anyway, your spine. The back, it says, do you remember when? It has all, it has the same specials and everything. And there's two discs. This one is two disc. Here's this, here's the first case. See, there's no answers, but here's the disc. This one has Santa Claus Coming to Town, The Little Drummer Boy, and Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol. Here's disc two. And this has root, and this one, and this one's in an eco case. Well, the other disc one, wait, is disc, no, disc one is not in an eco case, while disc two is. And this has Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty Snowman, Frosty Returns, and Cricket on the Hearth. Ah, so yeah, there you go with this limit, the 2010 one. Okay, now on to the Blu-rays. These Blu-rays are both Rudolph the, of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. First we got the 2010 Blu-ray, and it says the original Christmas classic. I got this at Walmart in North Kingston Island last year, the day after Christmas. I, I did an update of this, so if you want to go check it out, go ahead. The picture quality on this Blu-ray looks awesome. Um, I originally said it wasn't really that good, but I looked at I watched the Blu-ray for the first time ever and last year, and the picture quality is stunning. Like the shot of Rudolph flying during the end credit scene. If you look closely, you can see the strings that made the clay puppet fly. Anyway, I know Maxination 19 has this Blu-ray. I know... Uh, both Blu-rays and also the versions of Rudolph on the box that had the 1964 version with the 1965 ending with the song were a couple of misfits. It's uh, misfits, the version I grew up with, and that one's used on this Blu-ray and the other Blu-ray I'm going to show, and also the box sets. Anyway, here's Spine. Back says the most famous reindeer of all. 
And this Blu-ray has no bonus features whatsoever. The only thing that's on here is the movie. There are no bonus features. I'm gonna open this up. No inserts, but here's the disc, which you can see Rudolph the Rindos, Reindeer, and Hermit the Elf. This one only features the Blu-ray disc. But still, there you go with this Blu-ray of Rudolph the Rindos, Reindeer. Alrighty. And now the other Blu-ray. This is... This one's a recent one. This is... The new 2000 and the new 2014 50th anniversary collector's edition of Rudolph. I got this at Walmart in North Kingsville back at the beginning of this month. They did an update not so long ago, and this is the Walmart exclusive edition with a collectible storybook, which I'll show in a bit. We know this was released on November 4th, 2014. Anyways, you can see here spine, and this one's a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. In the back it says celebrate 50 years, and this Blu-ray does have bonus features because for bonus features you got Rudolph unwrapped, Sam the Snowman sing-alongs. Uh, holiday pop up book and be an artist, which the be an artist is actually uh, the uh, be an artist is uh, the how to draw Rudolph Hermie the Abomo Snow Monster. I think this one has good bonus features because uh, this Blu ray was released by Classic Media, well, this Blu ray was released by DreamWorks. Anyway, I know it's weird that DreamWorks released it, but that's okay. So, this is the Walmart exclusive edition with a collectible storybook. Oh. And it also came with this insert, which I'm not going to show, because I already showed that in the update. So, yeah. I'll flip through this quickly. So, yep. Yep. Now, this is a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. Here's the Blu-ray disc, which has Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Hermie the Elf, the Abominable Snow Monster, and Santa's Sleigh. And take the disc out, and here's the DVD, which has Rudolph. And when you take the disc out, ah, there's some artwork of snowflakes. I'm going to put that little insert in. Still, this Blu-ray of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is good. This Blu-ray is still available in stores, so if you want to get a collectible storybook, get this at Walmart, because this was a Walmart exclusive. But if you don't, just get other... But if you don't want the collectible storybook, but you'll get this at Walmart, you can try and find a copy of the regular Blu-ray, or you can go to Target or Best Buy or something. Alright, and the last item I got, this is the video game, and that's also Rudolph. This is Ru Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the video game for the Nintendo Wii. As you know, I did a play... It, I know... This was a used copy. I got this at GameStop. I got this at GameStop in North Kings Island back in June of 2013. I did a playthrough of this as part of my All Month or Summer, Summer Special. And next month I will be doing. And just letting you know, my next video I will be doing a playthrough of this game. Anyway, here's Spine. The back says, "Hope Rudolph and the Gang Save Christmas." Anyway, yep. Yeah. This is an all right game. Here's the instruction manual, and here's the disc, which you can see. Rudolph, two of the Misfit Toys, and Santa's Sleigh. So this game's pretty good. And I know it didn't really do well, got mixed reviews, but I still enjoy the game. So yeah. Alright, that's my entire Rankin Bass collection. Stay tuned for my next video.